this is Steve from BC Barker Creations and we're going to do an incubator build. I just just uploaded, uh, by the time you see this, it's a couple days ago, this incubator right here. Which we're going to show you how to, how, to build, how to make this incubator. But before we do that, we, we've got our first leopard gecko eggs, which are the pairing between a snow Las Vegas albino patternless and a Las Vegas albino bull jungle from David's Fine Geckos. So these are our first eggs from, from them and our first ever leopard gecko eggs. But um, for this build, I got this, these, I got two coolers from uh, Walmart. They're $20 a piece and they are made in the USA surprisingly. And um, plexiglass I had, uh, but for a small piece it's not that much. Um, then the incubator warehouse, I think it's called the Incu Kit. It's a desktop, made for a desktop incubator, so something small. We're going to show you that. And then you're also going to need some uh, screws, some of the, the styrofoam here. I put the styrofoam in here for extra insulation you can see it there and a drill um, I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut the hole out on the on the cooler I'm also going to use my Dremel to finish off um, cutting the hole for for this you need some drill bits to cut for your buttons and to drill your holes for your screws here so we'll go do that. I'll go step by step for you on how to build this incubator. Okay, you got your cooler. And if you got one, I would just check how it's made, you know, the, the, the form of it and everything and make sure that it's going to work for what you want to do. So, like I said, I had the plexiglass already. This piece is slightly smaller than the other one because I just these were just leftovers. And you can see I've drilled holes to hold it down. So what I, what I already did was I traced, I centered this piece and I traced around it. And then I went in about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch in, in so that this plexiglass could overhang the ledge. So now what I'm going to do is, I've got my lines on here. I'm going to take and I'm going to drill four holes in each corner, large enough for my jigsaw blade to get in there. And then I'm going to cut this right out. So after, after I get done with that, I'll come back and show you, the, show you that. Okay, as you can see, I drilled four holes in it. And I think I used a 3 8 inch bit. And it's going to be big enough for my jigsaw blade to fit down in there and you don't want to go right up tight to the corner I mean I suppose you could but this way I can, I can run the jigsaw and come in and then afterwards I can straighten the corners out nice if I go in too close I might slip and, and you might have a little rounded edge probably wouldn't make a difference but I like it to look nice so so now I'm going to take the jigsaw and I'm going to cut all, all this out right here so here I got my jigsaw, and you see the blade fits right down inside of there. Oop, hitting the ledge. Fits right down inside of there, so I'm just going to take it and cut it all out. And then we'll come back and I'll show you it cut out after. Okay, as you can see, we've cut this piece out. And uh, I'm just going to leave all my debris right inside. For now. And I'm just going to take a sander block here and just so it looks nice and neat. A little bit of, I'll probably take a knife and trim this off. But just so it looks looks nice. I like everything to look nice. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take some of the styrofoam. And I'll show you, this is how I cut my pieces. I'm going to take this and just press it against, against the, uh, where I cut. 
and you can see it, it leaves an in, I can get an indentation of exactly what size to cut the pieces and I'm going to cut them a little bit bigger than than that and then I'm going to glue them in into into these so that they're flush here it'll also help keep it insulated better and uh, It'll just it'll just help keep the heat in a little bit better if I do that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Is I'm gonna cut cut all these and glue them in, and then uh, you'll see what that looks like after. Okay, so now you can see that we've uh, glued in styrofoam into each of these empty pockets just to uh, help insulate it better. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach my plexiglass and I'm just going to center this over over the top of this and I'm going to uh, just drill it in. When you're doing this you want to set I put it on low so that it's going to stop. This is your torque or on here I don't know you know some drills don't have it so you got to be careful because you can crack the plexiglass. And I didn't pre-drill any of the holes for the plexiglass. I'm just going to drill it in right where it is. See, so yeah, you can hear it stop. Okay, this is the box, the incubator to come in. So I'm just going to, since I didn't really do an unboxing last time, I'll do an unboxing for you guys this time. side for now. We got screws here and some spacers. And this is the whole unit right here. There it is. Probes wrapped around right here. These are your uh, your heat. This is where your heat comes from these little ceramic heaters. That's your thermostat. There's the, the fan. So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take Sharpie here and I'm going to take put this underneath so I know where I want to cut. And all I'm going to mark right now I want it, I want mine centered. You could put it over here if you want. I'm, I want mine centered like the other one. So I'm going to go about right there, and I'm just going to draw. Oh, maybe it won't draw on this. There we go. I'm just going to draw a line around this. So that I can cut it out, and it'll fit right in there. Okay. So right there is where the face of this incubator warehouse incu kit is gonna go so we'll set that aside and I'm just gonna finish drawing lines here and for this I'm gonna use my Dremel I'm gonna use my Dremel to cut these out I'm gonna use a cutting disc to cut all the way to the edge but cutting disc because it's round isn't going to cut the corners out and then I'm going to use this bit which I could use this for the whole thing but I'm going to use this bit just to get the corners out out of it and I might have to go a little bigger this might actually I will go a little bigger than I'll probably cut on the outside of the marker that I just drew, drew on here that way I know it'll fit up in and when I put it together I'm actually going to put um, like window seal or door seal, the foam seal right around the edge of this, so that when it goes up in and I I lock I 
screw these in, it'll seal it basically right around that. So that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my Dremel and cut this little window out and then we'll come back again. Okay, so I've got the hole cut out here. And what I'm going to do now is I just want to make sure it's going to fit and it will. So now I'm going to mark where the screws need to go. The mounting screws, which is this screw and that screw. And you can put two more in. You don't really need to. So let me see. Back up a little bit so I can see over the top of it. And I'm also going to mark where my switches are here. So I'm just going to put a center hole for each of my switches. Let's see. And I'm going to go a little bit bigger drill bit than what I need. Actually, I think I'll go the opposite corners. Put that one there. And that one there. That way, if I go a little larger size drill bit, I can, uh, let's see, make sure I have a little bit of play in them. So if they're not exactly lined up here, then they'll still fit. Okay. So now, we got the dots on there. This one I'm not going to drill out. We'll wash that off after, but... That's where I'm going to drill my, uh, where, where my buttons go here, and then these two to mount it. So I'll do that now. Okay, so now we've got the hole cut out, and then as you can see, this chipped right away on me there, and I, uh, I did a pre-drill with a small hole so that I could get it centered good and um, it chipped on me so take your time doing it and I also think it chipped because this one didn't have the protective coating because I had to use this for something else and um, so there's no plastic over either side the other piece I did had the plastic over both sides and I think that helped to keep it from doing this so I put the weather stripping around the edge here and that's where the, ther the thermostat's going to show here. Then another thing I did was I cut a groove here from here back so that I could put the power cord through. So that's what that, that groove is there. So now we're going to take and mount the thermostat on here. And this comes with, oh I also had to open this up a little because my marks were off a little bit. So to get it to line up, I had to open this up to move the screw this way. I was off a little bit, but you're not even going to see that. So these are spacers to keep the fan even all the way around. These are already in it, but I'm going to put the spacers here. And we're going to... I don't know where to put the screws. Okay. We're going to mount this on there. And hopefully, I don't think, no, I won't have to take these off. I'm going to leave these two on there, right where they are. And then I'm going to mount this in there. So let's open this up. I'm going to run this screw down through here and through the spacer, and then it screws into the fan. Oop, let me line that up. See, they're lined up now. Same thing here. Get it down the, into the spacer and then into the fan. Now one thing you want to make sure is your buttons have room to move. If they're pushed one way, they might not might not work. So, so let's take this and we'll screw this in. back it off a little bit. I want to keep it even. So let's see here. You don't want to just crank on it. Okay. That's pretty good. These are drawn tight now. 
I want to make sure all my buttons will push. But I think that's pretty good. Your power cord plugs in right here. So we're going to test it out, make sure it works. Another thing is your probe is wrapped around your fan. So I'm going to take that off right now. And I just left the other one just hanging, so I'll probably do that too. But we need to clean out this inside, which I'll just throw all the big stuff away and uh, shop back the rest out wipe it down real good but that's basically it that's the whole the whole incubator right there I'll wash this up making it look better and the first one came out better which is unusual usually the second one comes out better but I, I chipped this away and then I had to open that one up and but it's not bad and that's the video, I guess. That, that's a simple incubator all together. The cooler was $20 plus tax. And then, like I said, it's an igloo cooler made in the USA. I like that. Um, the, ink, the incubator warehouse Incu Kit here, or yeah, I think, it was, I think it's called an Incu Kit or desktop Incu Kit or something like that. That's $50 plus shipping and tax. So you're like $70 plus tax and shipping. Um, screws I had, but I mean, for a dollar you could buy a bag of screws. Um, plexiglass, I mean, it was probably like $5. So you're looking at what, 70, I don't know, 80 bucks at the most to build this incubator. Um, styrofoam I had already. You could use anything in there. But yeah, you're looking at like $80 all together to build this incubator and it's going to be sturdy and last a long time. I'm not sure about these. I couldn't find too many re reviews on the incubator warehouse other than for chickens. But uh, it looks like it's going to work pretty good and I'll keep you guys up to date. Thanks for watching.